Nuts are amazing sources of those wonderful omega-3s, those omega-3 fatty acids that were bandied about in the news so much today. My two favorite nuts are that I recommend are walnuts and almonds, although all nuts have benefits. But walnuts for vegetarians and vegans are high in those omega-3 fats because vegans choose to avoid fish and that's a rich source of omega-3 fats for vegans. Because of the omega controversy, the scope of this video can't encompass all that. Suffice it to say that we need a balance of fats in our diet. We need omega-3s, omega-6s, and omega-9s. They largely come from plant sources, although omega-3s, as many people know, are found in cold water fish. But if you are avoiding fish, nuts of this caliber are an excellent way to get them in your diet. But people still need to remember that they are a rich source of fat. That's where we get the fatty acids from. A serving of nuts, if you cup your hand, is a level handful. It's about two to three tablespoons. That's a serving, not a cup. A lot of people will sit and just munch on nuts while they're watching TV or doing something mindless. That's not where we want to go. Nuts are also, they do have protein in them, but I don't look at nuts as the source of protein because when you look at calorie per gram, they're higher in fat than they are in protein. They do have protein, but I, don't, I try to get people away from looking as nuts as a strictly a source of protein because they'll ignore the fat content and fat is fat is fat if you don't if you overeat a fat you still can get it on your body which is another risk factor for breast cancer we want to keep our fat intake down to about 25 to 20 percent of calories overall and you do want the majority of the fat in your diet to be from plant sources like nuts and avocados so while nuts are wonderfully healthy foods we don't need to avoid them anymore we do need to be aware of our serving sizes and I know of many patients who swear by eating 10 almonds a day to help their cardiovascular risk as well as cancer risk there seems to be a lot of research around the type of uh, phytochemical, phytochemical is a big word that means a plant chemical that seems to be very potent in the laboratory showing its reduction in reducing mutations in the cell but again it's inconclusive.